Hi, welcome to my video on ways to prove triangles congruent. Ways to prove triangles congruent. One way is SSS congruency. S stands for sides, so three sides are equal in each triangle. Notice AB is equal to PQ, AC is equal to PR, uh, BC is equal to QR, and two sides are marked equal here. These two sides are marked equal, and the third side is common, which is PT, so it's an SSS. Two triangles are congruent, side, side, side. Another way is SAS congruency. A stands for angle. Two sides and an included angle are equal in each triangle. Two sides are equal with the included angle. So notice TE equals VI, uh, TF equals VB, and angle T equals angle V. Ang side, angle, side. And this is also true here. We have these two sides marked equal. We have this angle equal to this one. And we have AB is equal to AB common side. So it's an SAS congruency. Side, angle, side. This is also true that FX is equal to UX and OX equals SX, mark with double strokes, single strokes, and this angle, these two angles are equal by VOAT, so it's a side, angle, side, triangles are congruent. ASA congruency is two angles and an included side of each are equal. So two angles and included side. Two angles and included side, X is equal to G, Y is equal to E, and XY is equal to GE, angle, side, angle. And that's true here also. We've got two angles equal. We've got these two angles equal. And we got PT equals PT, common side. So side, angle, side. Triangles are congruent. Also here we have angle A equals angle E. And we have... This angle right here, ACB equals ECY, this one. So we have angle, side, angle. The sides between the two angles. We also can have an AAS congruency. Two angles and the side is not included or equal. So there's two angles and this side is not included. These two angles are equal to these two, but this side is not included. So A, A, S congruency. And this is, that's a right angle. So this is a right angle on the other, in the other triangle. So these two angles are equal. These two angles are equal. These two sides are marked equal. So an A, A, S congruency. And we got angle W equals angle B. This angle WAC equals BCA, mark with doubles, and CA equals AC, and that's an, it's common to both triangles, and we have an angle, angle, side. Number five, a right triangle has a right angle. The sides opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. The other sides are the legs. The legs form a right angle. So we have a, a right triangle, the right angle. These are the two legs that form the right angle. This is the hypotenuse. And again here, we have a, a right angle at E, the two legs, that's the two legs and that's the hypotenuse. This leg is equal to this leg and this leg is equal to this one. And so these triangles are congruent by SAS. And that would also be true in here. Same situation as these. This side equals this side. That side equals that side. So this is an SAS congruency. Side, angle, side. An HL congruency. Hypotenuse and a leg of each right triangle are equal. So we have 
Notice we have two right triangles because we got right angles. So A, B, C, F, T, W are right triangles because there's right angles. The hypotenuse A, C, F, W are equal. B, C is equal to T, W, two strokes. So this is an H, L. And this is also these two triangles, X, H, P, X, H, T are right triangles because they have right angles. So there's a right angle there, so that's a right triangle. There's a right angle here, so this is a right triangle. And this is two hypotenuse are marked equal. This is the common side. So this is an HL with a right angle, which makes it right triangles. When doing a proof, the statement column has to have two right triangles if you're using HL for the congruency of the triangles. In other words, if you're going to use HL as a reason to prove the triangle is congruent, then you have to state that you have a pair of right triangles. That's important. Triangles cannot be proved congruent by AAA. The three angles are equal. Three angles equal, it makes the triangles similar. Same shape, but not the same size. They cannot fit exactly on each other. So an AAA -A -A cannot prove triangles congruent, only triangles similar. And another one is an ASS. I, I call it a donkey. Angle and two con consecutive sides congruent. So angle, angle, side, side. So that side equals that side. That side equals that side. So this is an ASS cannot have an ASS. And the reason is, if you take an angle right here, this angle, you got an angle side side. But the angle could also be right here. So you got this angle equals this angle, that side equals that side, that side equals that side. So this is an ASS. This is an ASS. But the angles that are equal are on the end or on the length of the side that's four. But the same angle, same size angle, is on the side that's the length of five. So these triangles will not fit on each other. Note an HL is an ASS. An HL is an ASS. But it's a special case. The HL used is used when the triangles are right triangle. Hence, the Pythagorean property can be used when given the two sides. An example, if you're given a right triangle and you got five and four and want to find the other side, the hypotenuse squared is the leg squared plus the leg squared, five squared, hypotenuse, x squared, four squared, 25, x squared, 16, subtract, you get nine. Square root is, again, the square root is supposed to be plus or minus the root of 9, which is plus or minus 3. But the answer is 3 because we're dealing with a triangle. And if you have two triangles with a right angle, then they will fit exactly on each other. So an HL is a special ASS. Again, an ASS cannot prove triangles congruent. But if you've got the A, the angle, to be a right angle with two sides, then you're okay. Okay, let's continue. Place the correct side or angle in the blank. If you want this triangle to be an SAS, side angle, then you need this side, so you need AC. If you want this triangle to be an AAS, so an AAS, angle, angle, so you could have this side, which is AC, or you can go the other way. A, A, you can have this side. So you can have either or to give you an, an AAS. To give you an ASA, is an, the side is in between. So there's the angle, there's a side in between, so it's angle A that has to be to give you the angle, side angle. SSS is three sides, so you got to have the only one option is BC because no angles involved. HL is hypotenuse and leg, less a leg. 
you need the hypotenuse, which is AC. AC is the hypotenuse. ASS, if you want an ASS, then you have to have BC. But remember, that's an ASS, and this, this cannot be used in congruent triangles. SAS, side, angle, side, is BC, has to be the side. Practice. Pause the video and see if you can get the answers to these right. ASA, angle, side, angle, so that has to be WX. SAS, S, angle has to be in between, so it has to be angle T. And to be an SSS, there's no three sides, you need this side, WT, or TW. Oop, three strokes, one. Okay, three sides are AAS. If you can't mark this angle, you got two angles, so it's got to be this angle. AAS, the side is not in between. If you mark this one, you get an ASA, the side would be in between. So it's angle W. And HL, you would need to get, you have the hypotenuse, so you need a leg. So you could have TW. So TW will give you hypotenuse leg, or you could have WX. If you have TX and WX, then you have an HL, hypotenuse leg, another right angle. ASS, you could have angle W, which is this one, or you could have angle X, just because the angle is not between. You can't have T, because you've had T, you have an S, A, S. So it's angle W or angle X. And we want an ASA, that means the size between the two angles, so you need AP. State why each pair of triangles are congruent, if possible. Side, angle, side. Congruency. And this is uh, two angles on the side, so it's an A, A, S. Angle, angle, side. Congruency. And this is a right angle. It's an A, S, S that can't be done, but because it's a right angle, we have an HL. Two sides and the angle in between, S, A, S, congruency. And this is an angle and two sides, so this is cannot. You cannot prove these congruent because it's an A, S, S. They cannot be proved congruent. This is two sides and the angle in between is V, O, A, T. Vertically opposite angles equal, so it's an S A S congruency. And practice. Pause the video and see if you can get these right. State the reason why. Here we go. Three sides equal S S S congruency. Uh, two angles on the side in between, so it's an oop, let's draw the A A A S A congruency. And we got a right triangle. This is an ASS, can't be used, but because it's a right angle, so it's an HL, hypotenuse leg. And this is two sides and an angle in between, so it's an SAS, congruency. Angle, sorry, side, angle, side. And right here we have two angles on the side, but the angle is not in between, so it's an AAS, congruency. And right here we have this side, so this is a hypotenuse in the leg, so it's an HL. It can't be an ASS. There could be more, but let's just use the HL. Hypotenuses are equal, legs are equal, with being a right triangle. And one more page to do, fill in the blank with the correct relation and the reason. And so, the congruency relation. So we have angle B. So we have the two triangles are congruent. Let's see, we have a 
side, angle side, congruency. Angle B is it goes with angle F. And we got A, B, C, triangle going with A goes with T, T, F, G. So B goes with F, and, then, and because these are equal, A got to go with T, and C got to go with G. And this looks like it's, I can pick out the angles right now. Angle, side, angle. Size between, congruency. And we have triangle. We have a B going with F. And we have the C going with the G. So A is left over going with the T. And we got three sides here. So we got, now if you look between P is between the one stroke and the two strokes. So between the one stroke and the two strokes is X. So P got to go with X. And between the two strokes and the three strokes, two strokes and three strokes is the R. So two strokes and three strokes, two is, that means the Y is equal to the R. And what's left is Q. And Q must be going with W. And Q is between one stroke and three strokes. Right here, one stroke and three strokes. And that's an S, S, S congruency. And we have two sides equal. This is an ASS, can't do it. So it has to be right triangle, so triangle P. Q, R is congruent to triangle B, C, A, and it's an H, L. Again, Q goes with C, P, Q, right? P, Q, B, C, so A, you got to go with R. And we have angles, so let's name... We got an A, A, S, that's easy to see, congruency, put the congruency symbol here, A, B, C, A goes with X, B goes with W, and the C goes with the Y, and the A, A, S, congruency. And right here we have these two sides equal, right angles, and we have the reflexive AT. So we have an S, A, S congruency, two sides and included angle. And we have triangle A, T, M congruent to triangle. A goes with A, T goes with T because it's reflexive on itself. And M goes with N. G. We have two pairs of angles equal. And B, H is equal to H, B. So, that's an A, S, A. You can see the A, S, A congruency. An angle, side, and angle. But you got to be careful in naming this one. So, I'm going to name A, B, H. A, B, H. Notice A got to go with C. This angle here got to go with this one, so the B got to go with the H. And this angle here is marked with two strokes, so the H here got to go with this B. And it's an A, S, A. And right here we have these two triangles as an A, S, A but we don't have a congruency, so they can't be congruent, because it's an ASA, not congruent. And two angles are equal here by VOAT, and we have an SAS congruency, and the triangle 
H O J is congruent to triangle H goes with M. O goes with O by V O A T and the N goes with the J. And we have J and I have congruent triangles and I have many bars down below. Well, let's see what happens. We have a common side here, TW, so TWA is congruent to TWC. And that's right away, that's an HL. It's an ASS, A, ASS, but because of the right angles, it's HL. But there are other ways. That would be the first way to prove from congruent. But there are other ways. And one way is that because these two sides are equal, that means that this angle equals this one. And now we have these two angles equal because they're right angles. So right now I have an A, A, S, or I have an A, A, S going that way. A, A, S. And because two angles of this triangle are equal to two angles of the other, that means the third angles are equal right here. So that means I have all the angles equal. And that means I could have an, uh, an A, S, A. I could also have an S, A, S. Or I can also have an um, an S, S, could I have an S, S, S? I have a H, L. I suppose I could if I can prove. Nope, so I don't have the third one. S, 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 S. I don't have this side equal. Okay, let's go over this one. K. Two sides are equal here. These two sides are equal. This is a common side. So that means that you mark this one. So that's an S, S, S congruency. I'm going to mark a triangle then. S, S, S. And the triangles, but it's an A, C, B. So A goes, is it A, B goes with A, X. So A, X, I got an A, C, B, and an A, I got an A, C, B, so it's an A, C, X. A, X goes with A, B, B, C goes with X, B. Notice that these two angles are equal here. Because these sides are equal, that these angles are going to be equal. So it's an S, S, S. But notice how I name them. And this angle equals this one. So this is, got to be careful now. These two sides are equal here. So this is an S, an A, and an S, S, A, S. But we got to be careful. How do we mark the triangles as congruent? Because X, because that equals that, X got to go with T. O goes with O by V, O, A, T. So that means X, O, W, got to go with T, O, H. Just be careful. Notice. And that brings us to the end of this video on ways of triangles congruent. Remember? Oh, I got another page. Oh, I thought I had them all done. Fill in the blanks with the congruency relation and reasons. So here we go. We got triangle congruent to triangle and we have uh, again we're going to go with F T W so F is between the 2 and the 3 between the 2 and the 3 is H so that's an H between the 1 and the 2 is W and W go 1 and 2 is the A 
and T got to go at the C. So T goes at the C. And that's an S, S, S congruency. Remember, they got to fall on top of each other. So H goes with F, T goes with C. So F, T, W is H, C, A. And we have triangles congruent because we have a, two angles on a side. Angle, angle, side congruency. So the triangles are going to be congruent. So C, A, B. C goes with V. A goes with X. And Y is left over. And this is an SAS. Side, side. And the angles in between and so if we got the angle in between so let's go triangle b v c and this is a one stroke so it's going to be e t x because v goes with the t and e goes with the b sas number four we have two angles on the side, A, A, S, congruency. So we have an O, a T, and an A. And an O, T, A. O is the double stroke. So that's the R goes with O. P goes with T. And S is left to go with the A. And we have... Hypotenuse leg and a right triangle. Remember, that's an A S S. I can't use it, so it's an H L. So it's triangle congruent to a triangle. So let's go with T R S. So it's an E M N. And we have an A. This is common side. So it's triangle M N O. Congruent to triangle MNR. And that's an ASA congruency. And we have these two sides equal, these two angles equal, and this angle is equal. And in this case, notice that we have an SAS congruency. And that means that we have triangle A, T, W is congruent to. A goes with B because there are one sides marked. T got to go with T because these two angles. And W got to go with W. That's a reason explained in quadrilaterals later because these all these sides are going to be equal eventually. That's a rhombus. And we have uh, this one. We want, we got that angle equals that one. And so we have this side equals this side. And we got a triangle congruent to a triangle. So we got M. We got O and N. So M, O, N is F O A and that's an A S A congruency but because two angles are equal then I right now it's just an A S A but if the two angles are equal in each triangle the third angles are equal and that could make it an a, A, S. But the first choice, easiest choice, would be the A, S, A. And here we have A, S, S, but they're not congruent because you can't have an angle, side angle. Number 10, we have these two sides equal, or sorry, E, P equals E, P, and P, V equals P, C, and these are right angles equal. So this is reflexive common to itself. So this triangle, 
triangle is E P V and I'll go with the triangle E P C and that's a side angle side. Come on, go and see. And we have two angles equal. What the side is? This side. Y, V, V, Y. So this is an A, S, A. It's size between the two angles. But when we name the triangles, we've got to be careful. Let's take one triangle. Let's take Y, V, T. Y, V, T. Y goes with the Y in this triangle goes with the V in this one. And the V in this one goes with the Y in this one. And that means that the T got to go with the A. Which makes sense. Because if these, if these two angles are equal to these two, then the third angles are equal. And we have two, two sides equal. We have two angles equal, and we have another pair of angles by VOAT. So, again, that's a two angles and a not included side. And let's name the, by the angles equal. So, angle A, C, B. A goes with T. C goes with C, VOAT. So, B got to go with E. And also... By second choice, if two angles are equal in one triangle, two and another, the third ones are equal. So we could end up with an ASA if you said the third angles are equal. But again, that's the first choice. And here we have these two sides equal, these angles are equal, and this is the SAS. So we have triangles so let's name y v t y v t and y v this is double stroke so it's a y r t and now this is a, we could have an s a s side angle side Or we could mark this and have an S, S, S congruency if we mark these equal to as a common side. So that means that this angle right here is equal to this one. And that means that this angle right here is equal to this one. So I have the right match up. So that's ways to prove triangles congruent. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, Click on the like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Visit my math website, www.mathwillexplain.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.